Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to install a brushless motor into your Acme Trooper. This is a requested tutorial and I'm rebuilding the car uh, for cleaning purposes and I thought this is great to do a few tutorials. So this video goes through how to install a new motor or a brushless motor into your Acme Trooper. First thing is, here are your motor mounts. Okay, and basically all you've got to do is simply slide the motor into these mounts you should be able to do it without removing this carbon fibre top plate just push it in All right. now before you use any of the other screws or put the top of the mount on it's important to make sure that these two gears are lining up the spur gear and the pinion gear now to set these you just got to slide the motor up accordingly okay until the whole of the spur gear is being covered by the pinion gear. You don't want it like this, so only some of it is, and you don't want it the other way where um, there's not enough of it showing on that side. So basically you need to make sure that the whole of the spur gear is being covered by the pinion gear. Once that's set up, make a note that you've got the motor the way it's designed to go, which is with the wires facing out the top All right. additionally you can have them coming out the bottom I don't believe it makes much difference but just to ensure that the ESC fits correctly you need to make sure these guys are coming out of the top here next you can take this part um, this is the kind of clampy part that effectively clamps the motor into its position once again you should be able to do this with the carbon fibre top still on but you may need to remove it for easiness so basically once that's on you've got four screws to this side and then to the other side what you've got to do is you've got to replace all of them screws they are 2.5 millimeters so remember to do them diagonally first so do this one first then this one then that one and then this one so once all four screws are installed properly the motor should be very tight and then you can just check your gear mesh Okay, now all you've got to do is configure these three and plug them into your ESC. Okay, so in this car, the Acme Trooper, the black wire from the motor needs to go to the yellow. Alright, the red wire needs to go to the blue. So, red to blue. Okay, and then that means the yellow goes to the orange so it should be set up like this okay and then all that's left to do is take a sticky pad and mount the ESC in your desired spot which I'm not going to do because now we're going to take the car apart and do a rebuild enjoy thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope you found it uh, helpful more videos are coming soon